This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Ting. Well, how thick is the blade? Well, that's what I'm doing is if you look at the inside here, yeah. see how you see the mark for 10 inches is on the inside of the blade? So it's an inside cut. Mm -hmm. That's why I was, have the tape over top of it so I know exactly 10 inches to that edge of the blade. Cool. And then I'll recut the remainder to get the other 10 inches. So what we're doing here at Dave's Garage is building a huge box that's going to house all of the glass mat cells and all the other fun stuff that's going under the bed. And as such, and one of those stories of measure twice cut once, we're ending up pulling the legs off of the couch and then basically this frame that we're building is going to be the new legs for it. And it's actually gonna be like 10 times sturdier, more, more sturdy. And that's really exciting because I get to put a bunch of self-tapping screws. That's just fun. Anytime that I can use self-tapping screws. And one of the methods that I've perfected is actually making the power drill uh, turn to the right because then that makes the screw go in. It doesn't work as well the other way, not that I've tried. And there we go. It's a pup. And it's also a box. <laughs> it's kind of upside down right now, but you get the idea that goes over the wheel well and this sits under the couch. You might be one of the few people that actually have to put batteries under your bed. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I we should get the haptic feedback or the rumble bed. Where you like <laughs> put the 25 cents in and it starts like brum, 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 brum. <laughs> <laughs> you would probably could do that with all the stuff in this shop too. <laughs> like seriously, what would it take to how many uh, how I many how many amps motor. is this motor right here? Uh, that sucker will take uh, 80 amps. Yeah, I could use some 80 amp rumble pack. <laughs> <laughs> Hook it up to like Star Fox. <laughs> Off and running. Yeah. Last one. And so there we go with the box installed and. The bed is up against the wall. And just pull that guy down. Probably more gracefully than that, but yeah. It'll work. It'll work, yeah. And that's and so this is replacing some little beams like that, and instead I've just got like ridiculous beams and lots of them. So this now with the bed up. Oh man. That is so much floor space, or so much storage. I'll be able to store the uh, glass mat batteries back there and all sorts of crap under here, so. You fit a body. I was about to say the same thing, Dave. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I think you have enough protective gear on. I think it'll be fine. I think we'll cut some melamine here. Cut skin that box for you. This would be fun. Woohoo! Zone. <laughs> We're in the butter zone now, baby. How are people going to get involved and know where to ask you to go and where to meet up? Well, that's the coolest thing is we've got all of this tech that we're um, just kidding this thing out with. And there's a uh, dashboard over at hackacrossamerica.com where you can see always where the van is, where I'm going, what the schedule of events are. Um, you can actually see telemetry from like pineapples we've got on the roof. We've got some crazy tech that's going into this thing. Aircraft running all the time, all of this really cool stuff. Uh, kismet st sniffers and, and just like, um, and then also I'm going to be doing workshops uh, along the way and, and talks at different hacker spaces so you, you can find the schedule of events for how you can like uh, become part of one of those or any of the meetups or, or what have you. Uh, so all of it is at hackacrossamerica.com and um, that's, you just go there and sign up. If you've got a cool open source project that you want to publicize, you want to sh share with the Hack5 audience, if you've got a hacker space you want to give me a tour of, if you've got a rocket ship that you're building. Um, um, just yeah, let me know and and then we'll do that and then it will be awesome and all of that awesome is at hackacrossamerica.com Mobile phone carriers used to make me cringe. Trust me, as a former phone freak, I'm just flat out not a fan of telcos. I mean, the experience, it's intentionally confusing, riddled with hidden fees, penalties, arbitrary rules, unnecessary premiums, and ultimately you, the consumer, you're left powerless. 
but not with Ting. Oh my God, I love these guys. They're a bunch of awesome geeks up in Canada, nicest folks you'll ever meet, and they got fed up with the status quo, and they're actually doing something truly revolutionary. So get this, they're an MVNO offering 4G and Android phones on the Sprint network, and they have one simple plan. It's called fair and honest pricing. Megabytes, minutes, messages, they're all billed separately. So there's no plan to worry about. You, you just pay for what you use. You know, no penalties and no paying for stuff you aren't using. So if your plan's like for a thousand text messages and you only use a hundred, well then you get credited for the 900 you didn't use. How awesome is that? It's that simple. It's why my friends and I, we're all switching to Ting. I'm using them, my bartender's using them. Hell, my sister just signed up with them. Hey Karen. And she loves them because, get this, she had a silly question. She signed up um, and called the customer support line and a human answered the phone. I know, right? Also Karen, there's a difference between a SIM card and a micro SD card. But anyway. So check it out hak5.ting.com. You're gonna try out their online savings calculator and you'll see they are probably the perfect choice for you. So check it out at hack5.ting.com and try their online savings calculator. And when you're ready to make the switch, you're gonna get $25 off your first month of service just for being a Hack5 viewer. That's hak5.ting.com.